Uh, you got Echo Echo 8, something, something, November. So, um, uh, you know, try it again and kind of uh, keep up on those two words after eight. But try it again and kind of uh, keep up on those two words after eight. Okay, you got Kilo Echo 8, Ocean Norway, is that correct? Okay, you got Kilo Echo 8, Ocean Norway, is that correct? Negative, negative. Zulu for Zebra, Ocean Norway, here we go. Uh, zebra, Ocean Norway, Roger, Roger. Uh, zebra, Ocean Norway, Roger, Roger. All right, sir, and what's the name there? All right, sir, and what's the name there? The name is Mark uh, Michael Alpha Roger Kilo. All right, Mark, and what's the uh, location? Where are you located? All right, Mark, and what's the uh, location? Where are you located? I am located in southeast Lake India, uh, north of Detroit, about 50 miles. Uh, try that one more time. Uh, give me the state one more time. Uh, try that one more time. Uh, give me the state one more time. Michigan, Lake India. I mean, Lake India on the, in, the, in the thumb region north of Detroit, about 50 miles. Uh, roger that, Mark. And what radio are we running today? Uh, roger that, Mark. And what radio are we running today? All right, Mark, why don't you give me about 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna, and let me look around for a better path. Roger? Tell me about your antenna, and let me look around for a better path. Roger? Roger, Roger. Okay, so we have a... Uh, uh, my antenna inside antenna. It's uh, running, oh, I don't know, it's probably about 30 feet up. Uh, at the feet end and the far end probably about 50, 55 feet up. Uh, it runs across uh, from one tree uh, and then over to another. It's not quite a, a V, it's more like a open mountain tower. Yes, sir, Mark. Uh, I've got you on my local antenna at about 15 over, so it's, it's a pretty good signal. Uh, give me your uh, radio one more time. What is it? The Yesu FT-710. FT-710, is that a Roger? QSL, QSL. All right, so the first thing would be to verify that you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandwidth. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. I, I pick you up, uh, how would I determine that? It's in settings. Is that an older radio or a newer radio? Oh, it's a newer radio, yeah. The FT-710 is recent. It's a, uh, okay, so it's in uh, settings, transmit, uh, somewhere in there, in settings. And settings is the those cross arms there with a wrench and something, you know, that's your settings. And uh, it'd be transmit, uh, sideband, something, you know. I see uh, settings, and then I got TX Audio and TX General. Uh, TX Audio. Okay, and again, uh, what am I looking for? One more time, I'm sorry. Transmit uh, bandwidth, TBW. Transmit bandwidth, TBW. And it could be either general or it could be an audio, uh, you know. But if it's not, if it's, it should, you know, check audio first, TBW. And you should have maybe a selection of three different freq frequency widths. Uh, one of them will be uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Quite a few settings in here. I'm looking under, under TX Audio and TX General. Um, 
the TX audio has quite a bit of parametric, uh, and then uh, you know, there's band, so it's the, the E1 bandwidth. Uh, TVW, yeah, you have a bandwidth. Uh, it's parametric E01 bandwidth, QSL. It's not equalization. Now it's your transmitter bandwidth, and there's uh, there's usually like three. Uh, selections. One of them is uh, 100 to 2900. There are thereabouts, Roger. It's probably in that already, uh, but we I have found some radios that came back from the manufacturer that was not in that 100 to 2900 uh, transmit uh, bandwidth and that's that's really what we want but uh, I tell you what why don't you make a note so you can uh, look that up later maybe 100 to 2900 Roger 100 to 2900 bandwidth QSO transmit bandwidth Roger TX bandwidth QSO Okay, so the next thing now would be to move to your, your processor and uh, with mic gain in hand, uh, no, I'm sorry, in your processor we want uh, a 3 out of uh, 10 or 30 out of 100. Uh, your transmit uh, processor uh, compressor, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger. Roger, this would be a, a compressor processor uh, on and uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how they have it labeled. It would probably be 30 out of 100. Okay, so t take a note on that then. Uh, compressor processor on and uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100 level wise. Roger. Compressor processor 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100. Yeah, depending on how it's labeled, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, and it could be called uh, uh, processor or compressor, whichever. Probably a processor, Roger. Okay, so then uh, go to your ALC with uh, Mike Gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, spoken just as you would speak any other word in a QSO, audio, adjust your Mike Gain until your ALC meter is reading seven or two thirds. Seven or two thirds on your ALC meter. As you say the word audio, dragging out the front, you become a human test tone generator and uh, with microphone you adjust your level until you're uh, minus seven or you're at two-thirds depending on which uh, uh, your meter does. Okay, um, so I'm going to get the bar seven so I'm going to say audio, audio, that's my processor level, I'm changing that audio. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, now uh, let's move to your equalizer, your EQ page, your equalizer page, or your tone control page, depending on uh, you know how they name it. Okay, so uh, on the compressor we want a 30 out of 100, Roger, Roger, on, and a 30 out of 100. QSL, yeah, it goes to 100, so we want to set a 30, right? 
Yeah, if it goes to 100, we want it 30. If it goes to 10, we want 3. Roger. Roger, Roger. I'm at 30 there. All right, so we're going for the equalizer page, uh, sideband, uh, transmit, uh, and uh, tone control or equalization. Transmit. Yeah, I mean, I've got uh, transmit general. There's HF max power, 50 max power, 75 max power. That's under general, under audio, TX audio. They're all parametric equalers. There's frequency, level, bandwidth. Yes, sir. Right, right in there. And we want to be on the uh, P set of controls. You have, uh, you have a P set of controls, Roger. Yeah, there's, there's parametric and P parametric. Here. Yes, sir. We want P parametric because you have your, uh, uh, your processor on. So we're on P parametric, Roger. Yes, I understand that one. But so, where am I looking for here now? All right. So, is that a three band or that's yeah, a three band, Roger? Well, I, was, uh, I mean, I've got uh, bandwidth, level, frequency. Uh, yeah, there's equalizer two, there's equalizer three. So, I guess so. That would be the three band. Yes, sir. Three of those, Roger, Roger. Right. There's a QSL. I got that. Okay, so we want to be on the P set of controls. We want to go to the uh, travel frequency, which is probably number three. Uh, and we're looking for a 2.7 kilohertz. We want to that uh, travel control to be 2.7 kilohertz. Roger. I'm looking at the uh, equi, equi 3 frequency. You're not, you're not looking at the frequency, correct? What is the frequency of the number three? 2400 hertz. So. Yes, sir. So move that up to uh, 2.7. Now we're at 2.7. Uh, width of four. Width of four. Plus five from where you are. On the bandwidth. Uh, you're at, uh, you have frequency, is that, that's 2.7. You have width, that is 4. You have level, and that is, uh, uh, let's make it 4 clicks up, 4 clicks boost from where you are. Roger? Okay, so it's bandwidth. Yeah, I'm at a 4 now. Okay, so um, <clears throat> then your mid-range uh, should be flat or off. Mids should be flat or off. Yeah, make sure that, uh, that that's the middle control. It should be off or flat. And Jim, just to interrupt for a second, I can tell him where that uh, 129 is if you want me to share that information. I think he found that one. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Uh, Mark, you found your, your, uh, uh, your transfer bandwidth at uh, 100 to 2900, Roger? Yeah, it's under radio settings, mode, single side band, and the option is transmit, bandpass filter, BPF. Yeah, I'm not sure I found that. It's under radio settings, then mode, single side band, and it is, the title is uh, transmit BPF, bandpass filter. Okay, radio settings, mode, single side band. Are you on the radio setting screen? Correct. Yes, Q so. Very first one you should say mode single sideband. Q so on the left, very first one, mode single sideband. Okay, then go over and go down to TX BPL band pass filter. TX BP and BPF uh, SEL. 
but he wants you to put that on 100 to 2900. 100 to 2900 it is. Okay, there you go, Jim. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, so uh, I think we're back to EQ now. Uh, you're in the P set of controls, and you have that uh, mid control at flat or off. Roger, Roger. No, that's where I'm off. Oh, I apologize, Jim. Okay, so you have two set of controls. One of them is a P set of EQ controls. Following. Okay, uh, so it's a uh, uh, single side bend uh, transmit uh, tone control or equalization. Um, single mid tone and gain, uh, bass gain. Uh, repeat your first. Uh, AF treble gain. This is on the mode single side band cylinder radio setter. Uh, this would be in equalization, your equalization page, your tone control page. That's under operation settings and transmit audio. Transmit audio, Q though. You got to back out of that other one that you was in and go to operation settings and then go down to transmit audio. Just so I'm on operating settings, transmit audio. I can't hear him, Jim, too well. He's uh, on uh, transmit audio, I think he is. Okay, you have to say you got parametric, and then if you go on down, you got P-parametric, which is where he wants you to be. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. So, okay, I'm on the P-parametric. One, two, three. Okay, so a P set of controls, and you have uh, basically three controls there transmit, uh, bass, uh, mid range, and treble. So we've got, uh, you know, let's review those. Let's go for the mid frequency. That should be off, uh, plus or minus zero, or off. Plus or minus zero, or off. Roger? You know, that's not in, that's not, there's nothing in here that uh, has mid-range or, or, or anything along that line. Mid-range number two. Yeah, uh, mid-range number two, that's the, uh, you have three controls there. Uh, mid-range uh, number two is uh, treble, and we want that off, or cutter, cutter minus zero, or off. Cutter push zero, or f flat, or off. Everything's P parametric, EQ1, EQ1, EQ2, there's frequency, level, bandwidth. Exactly. So we're, we're working on number two right now, which is the mid-range. So on that one, it should be flat or uh, off. Flat or off. Neither cut nor boost, flat or off. Um, so I'm on the EQ1 level or bandwidth or frequency. Uh, number two, equalization, which is your mid-range control in the P in the P range. You want to be all in the P range since you have your processor on. So all of these adjustments are going to be in the P range of uh, equalization. Roger. Now you have an equalization uh, grouping in the middle, which is your tr your uh, mid-range control. Roger. Okay, well, I see an uh, EQ2, there's a uh, 1, 2, 3 of them there. Uh, frequency, level, and bandwidth. Turn it all the way to the, uh, to the left, it goes all the way down, and you see you get the word off. I'm sorry, uh, y'all doubled. Um, uh, let's see here, Mark, uh, do you see um, uh, a, a, an on-off switch? Do you have an, does he have an on-off switch? So it would be uh, all the way to the left, the mid-range all the way to the left and find the, uh, uh, in the attenuate uh, circuit and find an off, is that a Roger? Well, it's on the P dash, uh, P dash parametric uh, EQ number two, which is the mid-range, 
They have the frequency category, and you just turn that all the way to the left, and you get to the word all. Yeah, so uh, take that uh, number two uh, attenuate control all the way to the left, and it has an off uh, circuit there. So we want that one off. Roger? And now we got an EQ frequency, q -tell. Frequency number two. Frequency control, uh, EQ control number two. Roger, number two. Uh, the attenuator, we want to go all the way to the left till you find the word off. So it's key parametric. Uh, EQ frequency, and I have it off. Yay! Yay! All right. So let's go to the base frequency, which is uh, number one. Base frequency number one. I want to go to 200 cycles. 200 cycles on uh, base frequency. Roger. Parametric EQ. Yeah, I need my glasses. Oh. Okay, frequency one and that's 300 hertz right now. All right, I want you to do a minus four uh, in the shape. A minus four, I'm sorry, a four in the, in the uh, shape department on that frequency. Uh, so you shape it to a, a four, Roger. Okay, that's okay, so I'm at a two now. I'm sorry. P, uh, EQ one bandwidth at a two. Okay, we want to go to a four. Want to go to a four on your bandwidth, Roger? QSL, we're at a four. Okay, I want you to uh, step back off that mic about uh, two inches additional from where you are. QSL, audio, audio, QSL, I'm at about uh, five inches away from her now. All right, then I want you to go to uh, EQ number three and add uh, three clicks additional uh, push at uh, 2.7 kilohertz. Okay, and with that three clicks and three, and it's at 2700 right now. And where do you want me to put her at? Uh, plus, uh, plus four clicks boost. Additional boost from where you are on uh, number three PEQ. Um, we're looking at frequency level bandwidth. What am I looking at here? Uh, your <laughs> your bandwidth is four. Bandwidth is four. Your frequency is two point seven. Your push is uh, three uh, clicks d additional from where you are. I got 2.7, and my bandwidth is 4, and then the only one left is the uh, uh, level, which is at a 10 right now. Yeah, all right, so we want three additional from where you are. Three clicks push additional from where you are. Well, 10 is the top, so... All right, be my guess. I'm going to say 10 is the maximum, and it's at 10 right now. Alrighty, uh, so uh, why don't you tell me about uh, your antenna system and let me listen to you for a minute. Yes, I okay. appreciate your patience with me. Um, again, we have a, a, a 7510 N fed um, hanging up in the, uh, the 10 N fed. Um, hanging up in, the, uh, up in the trees about 50 feet at the end. I think it's set at about 157 feet length. So that's where we're at with my antenna. Okay, I want you to uh, uh, go um, on your low frequency number number one. I want to to uh, uh, to minus that two more clicks, minus two clicks more uh, uh, control on the number number one. Your base control. We want to roll two clicks uh, additional roll on that from where you are. You just brought it down two clicks. Is that going? All right, uh, tell me about your uh, your radio for about 10 seconds. Just tell me, this is uh, FT710, the A2 FT710. Uh, I've only been a hand here for about uh, oh, three, months, three or four months that you can't pick up on that yet. <laughs> but uh, I, I went to my uh, uh, technicians around Thanksgiving and then my general around uh, the first week of, uh, of uh, December, and uh, I'm looking to do my extra. 
All right, uh, let's go back to your uh, ALC and uh, readjust your uh, your level because we have uh, been screwing with your EQ quite a bit. And any time you uh, make adjustments to your EQ, you could uh, have lowered your ALC quite a bit. So <coughs> again, as we uh, learned, uh, you just do the word audio and adjust your mic gain for seven on your AOC meter. Two seven, okay. Uh, audio. Uh, audio. Okay, I'm about five inches. I'm just saying normal. Right. Uh, audio. Let's go up a little more. Uh, audio, okay. All right, uh, back to your EQ. Minus two more clicks on your bass frequency minus two more clicks on your bass frequency and then, so that's uh, a 200 uh, and what would that be minus two from where you are uh, 200 uh, on the frequency four on the width uh, 200 and the frequency and four on the width and what is your attenuation level right at the moment okay and the bass was one was it okay take it to three minus three no, no, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the base was uh, the EQ1 or EQ2 or EQ3? Your base, uh, EQ1, uh, your base frequency. Yeah, keep in mind how that works. Base uh, is one, treble is two, uh, I'm sorry, your base is one, uh, mid-range is two, treble is three. Roger? All in the P controls. I think we doubled. I'm sorry, I, I, I Q was telling that and I, my... Uh, Base frequency is at 200 hertz. 200, and uh, what is your attenuation of that? Are you minus 4, 3, 2, 1, what? Uh, the width is at 1. I'm talking about your attenuation. You have three controls. Uh, one is a push minus, uh, the other is your frequency, and the other is your width. So the width is 4. Uh, the push frequency is 200, so the other is the attenuate. What is your attenuate uh, level at this moment? I have 200 hertz, uh, level 6, and it's more bandwidth, so would that be the 6? Okay, on your level, on your level control, uh, minus uh, 3 clicks additional. Minus 3 clicks additional from where you are on your level control. Roger? Your cell, that brings me down to a 3. All righty, sounded pretty good. Uh, again, uh, tell me about uh, the best thing you like about your radio. Uh, the best thing I like about the radio? I mean, I get a lot of good reports out of it, as was. I did uh, follow a YouTube video on it from, uh, uh, where we at here, from um, uh, N4HNH, and that's how I got the settings that I had before we before I found you on the band here. All right, the, uh, on uh, your base frequency again, uh, two more clicks minus, minus two clicks additional from where you are on your base frequency, number one. You say two clicks down? Yes, sir. Okay, that sets me at a one right there. It sounded pretty good. Uh, tell me something I don't know. Well... I'm uh, a 60-year-old gentleman from uh, Southeast Michigan. I've been here all my life and uh, uh, divorced and uh, got two dogs. I love dogs and uh, wish I was in a warmer climate right now. Roger, roger. Okay, one more click. Minus on your base control, number one. Minus one click additional attenuation level. Minus one level on EQ1, roger. QSL, that brings me down to a zero. There's no, no place to admit the basement at this point, QSL. Oh, so you're uh, faded all the way on that control? That's correct. I'm down to a zero. There's nowhere else to go with it. All right. Sounded mighty good. Um, wh tell me about the radio that you would like to have that you don't have. Well, I'm looking to, I, I'm looking to do some coda. Uh, I found a little interest in that. I found a little interest in that, and I was thinking about getting an FT891. I do have some hand sticks that I bought, and I was using this radio, but uh, being the weather, it's a great chance to use it.
All right, uh, I think you faded out on my uh, my 7300. Uh, uh, come back and let me just listen to you. Something I don't know again. Something I know. I've been uh, I'm pretty into another hobby I have is uh, raising border collies and training border collies and dogs. I do that and I do a lot of computer work. I do computer repair on the side. I've been doing that for about 30 years. Just maintenance and. Uh, 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 let me um, see if I can get uh, in my Hocus Pocus uh, uh, SDR. Let me see if I can get something uh, closer in uh, Michigan than than where I am. We shall see, because uh, I want to get a good copy on you. I got a pretty good copy, but uh, I can get a better copy sometimes. Uh, there's, uh, let's see, let's try Thurston and see what... What lives in Thurston, Michigan? Come on around here to uh, that and uh, that and uh, okay. Uh, Mark, uh, come back and let me listen to you just for a second. To be sure I'm on the in the right place. On the in the right place. This is QSL. So yeah, you're, you're, what are you? I'm, I'm assuming you're turning your antenna. I'm. Uh, Again, as if you haven't picked up on it, uh, I haven't been into radio since uh, back in the 70s, and uh, a friend of mine got me back into it here just recently, and uh, this is all kind of new to me, so I'm sure you're figuring that out just by talking to me. Eh? Uh, yes, sir. Well, you know, everybody's got to be somewhere and you know, to learn. Uh, actually, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to a, an Internet SDR uh, that's uh, very, very good for you. You're about 20 over on this uh, Thurston uh, SDR. And so this is the best copy I've had on you. Uh, I wanted you to just check your mid-range control number two. Uh, that should be in the off mode. Is that a Roger? The off mode. Is that a Roger? QSL, my frequency in, in two is off. QSL. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you're maxed out on your travel boost uh, at 2.7, width of 4? 2.7, width of 4. Actually, the, the, the frequency on, um, on 3 goes to... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you, were, you weren't talking about the frequency, were you? Yes, uh, why don't you tell me what uh, 3 is, your, your number 3 control. You're in the P-set P of controls. Number 3 of uh, EQ in that range, uh, uh, what does it read? Range, uh, uh, what does it read? Okay, so it's, it's number 3. My frequency is at 2700 hertz. I have a level of 10, and the bandwidth is set at 4. Yes, sir, and you're maxed out on your push. Your 10 is all you can go, Roger. Your 10 is all you can go, Roger. That's, that's the maximum. Sound pretty good. Sound pretty good to me. I would I would leave it like that. Uh, I'm uh, monitoring you uh, right now on uh, an SDR in your neighborhood, so you really have a good signal. But, uh, you know, SDRs do have a habit of uh, cutting off the low frequencies, like at about 200 cycles. So uh, I'm going to switch back over to my, uh, my local uh, antenna, which is running a 7300, and uh, double-check your audio. Roger. And uh, double check your audio, Roger. Roger. Stand completely. I use the Kiwi SDR here a little bit when I'm away from the radio, just to monitor stuff and watching TV. Stuff and watching TV. Yes, sir. You sound good both on the Kiwi and my local. So, get the gorilla tape out and tape her down. Out and tape her down. Roger, Roger. I appreciate your patience, Jim. Yours and. Uh, the other gentleman out there didn't catch his call sign, but uh, uh, again, I'm learning. So uh, now that now that I understand a little more about uh, the bass trouble in the mid-range and, and the three of each, I've got a little better handle on that. Yes, sir. The reason that we uh, get that uh, mid-range control uh, flat or off is that most microphones, even bad microphones, uh, are great in the mid-range usually. 
the problem is that uh, the mic circuitry and all that stuff starts to get into trouble as we go to the higher frequencies and the lower frequencies. So the EQ is designed to balance, strike a balance between the uh, the treble EQ in the mid-range and the uh, bass in the mid-range. And if we push the mid-range, it's so much harder for the uh, bass and the treble to uh, catch up with that. So we want that flat. So that's so much so that even in the uh, 7300 and the 7610, they don't even bother putting a mid-range control in there because they want that to be flat. And to strike a balance, uh, they, they just have a two... Uh, uh, to control EQ, treble, and bass, and and it just is so so simple that way. Roger, Roger. So simple that way. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. I I, I grasp a bit of what you're saying. You obviously have a vast uh, amount of knowledge in this, and uh, I'm just down here at the bottom trying to figure it out myself. But, uh, yep, I, I'm I'm grasping what you're saying. Yes, yeah, so the whole idea is uh, uh, there's two-prong attack on this thing. We're trying to get your, um, uh, your, uh, your compression limiting up to a 3 dB dynamic range. In other words, if I were to put a VU meter on a PA system somewhere that had no other processing, it was just a straight amplifier, and you were speaking on that PA, and I was looking at it on a VU meter, I would have what's called a 10 dB dynamic range. Uh, that meter's flopping up and down from zero to uh, to a uh, you know minus twenty and minus twenty up to uh, uh, zero level you know but uh, th that's not too good for radio because we have a lot of noise and stuff so we want to pull up that uh, lower stuff and then reduce that upper st uh, stuff to where we have a three dB dynamic range so we go from a thirty dB uh, uh, you know, dynamic range, uh, uh, well, 30% average peak modulation, which is a 10 dB dynamic range, to uh, a 3 dB dynamic range, which means that your average percent of peak modulation is around 80 to 85%, which is a much more copyable uh, signal uh, on your, you know, your listener uh, to your transmitter. So essentially, that's what we do. And then we want to crisp up the audio to uh, where it's very perceived the uh, uh, articulation is such that even if you're under somebody's noise level, they can still perceive not only the word Words, but what the words are. There's so many times when people don't have a good equalization on their microphone, you can hear them, but you can't understand what they're saying because it's either muffled or no, no top end articulation. And so what we want to do is bring your articulation level up to be a, a very perceived uh, word and then uh, compress it, process it to where it's, uh, you know, loud but not distorted. We don't want distort distortion is uh, you know, is a negative thing to your audio. It just distracts from your audio. So we want it uh, nice and loud, clean, and articulated. Roger, Roger. And articulated. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. You know, I'm talking off the stack mic, and I've considered mine a, a, a bass mic, but uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. But the last gentleman you, you assisted, um, you made a huge difference in his audio. He was very, very bassy. And I had a hard time understanding him, and then when you were done with him, he was very crisp, and I was impressed with that. Yes, sir, and you are also that way. And if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube, do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. But uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Roger, Roger, QSL. Um, and so this is something you do uh, on Fridays. Is this, so this is a net that you do. Is that, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, from uh, three thirty till five, we've been doing it for the last uh, six years. We have uh, twenty nine hundred uh, uh, QSO Vlog uh, air checks, uh, and uh, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get a few more in before we. Uh, <laughs> check out or go to another frequency or something but we've been here for about six years or something but we've been here for about six years pure sound Jim okay well I appreciate it I'm sorry to take up as much time as I have and I hope people behind me would have patience as well as you do so uh, alright I'll look it up on there and um, I'm going to recommend you to a couple other people I know I appreciate the, uh, what you do 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You sound really beautiful. I think you love your recording. Uh, 73 there, Mark. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, join us next uh, Friday. We'd love to have you. And for those that have participated, if you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And with all that being said, we got to get out of here. This is KC9VKV, returning the frequency back to normal amateur radio use. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor is clear.